Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Biomass-based combined heat and power CHP, systems offer a sustainable and efficient energy solution for various applications, including agricultural operations. These systems utilize organic materials, such as wood, agricultural waste, and other plant-based feedstocks, to generate electricity and useful heat simultaneously. In this video, we will delve into the different types of biomass CHP systems and explore real-world case studies to understand their potential in revolutionizing various industries. 1. Direct Combustion Direct combustion technology involves burning biomass directly to produce heat, which is then used to generate steam and drive a turbine for electricity production. The residual heat can be utilized for various applications, such as heating or cooling. Case Study, Essensfjernvarm Amba, Denmark the Essensfjernvarm Amba plant in Denmark uses direct combustion technology to supply combined heat and power CHP, to the town's 5,400 inhabitants. The plant was built by Babcock and Wilcox Renewable B &W, and uses Volendate technology to burn a wide range of biofuels, including forest wood chips with up to 55% moisture, sawdust, chipped clean wood from industry, and wood pellets. 2. Gasification Gasification technology converts biomass into syngas, a mixture of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and other gases. This syngas can then be used to generate electricity in a gas engine, gas turbine, or fuel cell. Case study, Gussing Biomass Power Plant, Austria. The Gussing Biomass Power Plant in Austria uses gasification technology to convert wood chips into syngas, which is then used to produce electricity in a gas engine. The plant has a capacity of 8 MW thermal and generates 2 MW electric of electricity, while the residual heat is supplied to the local district heating network. 3. Anaerobic Digestion Anaerobic digestion is a biological process in which microorganisms break down biomass in an oxygen-free environment, producing biogas. This biogas, mainly composed of methane and carbon dioxide, can be burned to generate electricity and heat. Case Study, Holsworthy Biogas Plant, United Kingdom the Holsworthy Biogas Plant in the UK is an anaerobic digestion facility that processes food waste, agricultural residues, and energy crops to produce biogas. The plant has a capacity of 2.4 MW and generates electricity and heat, which is used for local industrial applications and the national grid. 4. Pyrolysis Pyrolysis involves the thermal decomposition of biomass in an oxygen-limited environment, producing bio-oil, syngas, and biochar. The bio-oil can be used as a fuel for industrial applications, while the syngas can be used to generate electricity. Case Study, Empyro, Hengelo, the Netherlands Empyro is a pyrolysis plant in Hengelo, the Netherlands, that converts biomass into bio-oil, syngas, and biochar. The plant has a capacity of 25 MW thermal and generates 20 MW thermal of bio-oil and 5 MW of electricity. The bio-oil is used as a fuel for industrial applications, while the electricity is supplied to the grid. 5. Organic Rankin Cycle, ORC Organic Rankin Cycle, ORC, technology uses an organic working fluid with a lower boiling point than water, enabling the conversion of low-temperature heat into electricity. Biomass CHP systems employing ORC technology can utilize various types of biomass fuel, such as wood chips. Case Study, Helic, Organic Rankin Cycle, ORC, Biomass CHP, United Kingdom. Helic installed an ORC Biomass CHP system at a UK site, which utilizes wood chip fuel to generate electricity and heat. The system has a capacity of 165 kW electrical and 300 kW thermal and provides power and heat to an industrial site, significantly reducing the site's reliance on fossil fuels and grid electricity. Stirling Engine Stirling engines are external combustion engines that use heat from an external source to drive pistons and generate electricity. When used in biomass CHP systems, Stirling engines can efficiently convert biomass-derived heat into electricity and usable heat. Case Study, Ntrade E3 Wood Pellet Biomass CHP, United Kingdom. TW Power installed the first Ntrade E3 Biomass CHP system in the UK, running on wood pellets. The system has operated for over 2,200 hours and exported over 35,000 kilowatt hours of electricity while providing heat for their warehouse facility. 
With minimal downtime and Entrade remotely monitoring the system, the Biomass CHP system demonstrates the potential for using Sterling engines in Biomass CHP applications. Conclusion Biomass CHP systems offer a sustainable and efficient energy solution for various industries, including agricultural operations. With diverse technologies available, such as direct combustion, gasification, anaerobic digestion, pyrolysis, organic Rankine cycle systems, and Stirling engines, there is potential to find the best solution for specific applications. The case studies discussed in this video demonstrate the transformative potential of biomass CHP systems by providing clean, renewable energy, increased efficiency, and cost savings. These examples serve as inspiration for further adoption of biomass CHP systems, contributing to a more sustainable and environmentally friendly future. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.